Hello everyone, and welcome to the Mortuary. I am the Mortician. And today, I have, I'm all set up again. You know, my hard, new hard drive is up and running. Um, everything's installed and whatnot. Just got Reaper back online, and I'm ready to record. And this is one of the lost videos. This is the top five least favorite albums in my collection, so let's get right into it. Um, first thing we have here is Cult of Azazel's Triumph of Fire. Um, if you're not familiar with Cult of Azazel, this is a. I think these guys are from actually Florida. These guys are an American de uh, black metal band. Um, I almost said death metal because that's where you know that's what goes down in Florida um, is death metal. But yeah, they are really really awesome. And then I picked up this record. This has got to be one of the m blandest, most generic. Excuse me, generic black metal records I own. None of these riffs really set them apart from anyone else kind of like if i harken back to their older days they kind of have their own distinct sound and a good example of that is anguish brought to heaven they just sound like cult of azazel but here they just sound like everyone else and i couldn't really even finish it i've tried listening to it the full way through a couple of times but really when it comes down to it it's just meh it's just so bland so i don't really even listen to it anymore um it's once again really a shame, a shame because I really, really like this band. So, next we have Whitechapel's self titled. Um, oh man, this back is all like nasty and fucked up. I, this is one of my first records I bought uh, when I actually seriously started collecting. Um, but back on track. Um, this is another case of where I really liked an older album from the this band. And this one just disappointed me because of it. And that album was Som the Somatic Defilement. I really liked the Somatic Defilement by Whitechapel because it really set them apart uh, in the Deathcore game. A lot of people in Deathcore around the time that Whitechapel was around, everyone sounded th exactly alike. They all had the very predictable breakdowns. They all had these super mad guitars. But Whitechapel's The Somatic Defilement, despite people what my, people on Metallum might say, I think it deserves um, I think it deserves good reviews because it was actually a fairly good record. Um, even the breakdowns are done really well. Uh, of course, it is deathcore, so you're not going to escape them. But the riffage on that record was great. The lyrics can be a little bit silly, but honestly, I enjoyed that because it's just like kind of like Cannibal Corpse. Cannibal Corpse lyrics can sometimes be really, really cheesy, especially on the early records. So it really harkens to that. And I really enjoyed it, but back to this record, <laughs> I picked this record up on a friend's recommendation because he told me if I liked The Somatic Defilement that I would really enjoy this, and I, <laughs> I really didn't. There's only one good song on here, in my opinion, and that's uh, Make It Bleed. Every other song just sounds like a, just sounds like a, it's another deathcore band. You know, they they don't set themselves apart. Now it's like the only thing that really sets them apart is Phil's voice. He, to be honest, Phil Bozeman has a voice that um, is really unique. But that's not enough. That's definitely not enough to make me want to enjoy your record. They have some piano parts on Make It Bleed, which is why it's one of my favorites because it tries to do something a little bit different. But like everything else. Might as well be like by Chelsea Green or something like that, in my opinion. Next <laughs> is Mystic Circles, The Bloody Path of God. Um, this is yet another band. <laughs> I listened to their older stuff and really liked it. I think the album I liked, I believe it's called Damien, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and then listening to this album, this album isn't a disappointment in the way the others are that they sound similar to other artists in their genre. It's just that every song sounds alike. That, that's really what it comes down to. Every single song on this record just sounds like a continuation of the last song in a really, really abrasive way. It's like sometimes I forget if I've actually changed the song or not. It's it's that repetitive. And it just gets... I, it gets, I get sick of it. I've listened to this album fully one time and was like no way no way could i possibly force myself to sit through this and keep listening to this it was just that bad in my opinion um and it's just such a shame because once again i really like their older stuff 
And then you come to this, uh, which I believe, um, yeah, they actually covered Circle of the Tyrants by Celtic Frost, which is an amazing song, by the way. Um, but it's just meh, meh. They could have done a lot better, and they just, you know, they gave me a half-assed album. And next we have Father Befouled, um, which runs into the same... Oh, actually, I should tell you the uh, album name. Father Befouled's Morbid Destitution of Covenants. Uh, we're not doing the, uh, like, a thing on the artists. We're doing the albums. Um, oh, my God. This album is even more even more guilty of sounding the same there are a lot of people who seem to really like this album at least from the metallum scores i shouldn't say a lot but it has a generally positive percentage on um, metallum and i can't understand it because every single song is literally the same riff the same drum beat and the same vocal phrasing but just different lyrics it's like this this album once again i can only get into once because that that was just it it was like how the fuck could I listen to this again? I could listen to like one song, maybe the first song or so, and I could get a gist of what the whole album's gonna be like. And that's not really engaging for a record, obviously. I, I don't want to be listening to the same exact song over and over and over again. And it's just really, really sad. Um, it's just really strange because uh, I actually had picked this up from, not from a record shop, there was a relapse mystery grab bag you would get i believe it was 30 cds for 30 dollars or actually i think it was a i think it was 20 cds for 30 dollars um and my friend actually you know i i couldn't i i didn't really have a debit card at the time so i just gave my friend like 50 bucks for like you know inconvenience or whatever and I got some great records. I got um, Syphilic Carnage. I got three Syphilic Carnage CDs. They're, like, really, really awesome. They rip and tear, and I love them. Um, I got some Today is the Day, which I I haven't yet gone back to, um, but I'm probably going to give those another listen. Um, I don't think they were bad. It's just that um, when I was younger, I was pretty close-minded, so I should give them another listen. I probably will. Um, so considering that, I picked this up for, like, what would that be? $20? Well, 20 CDs for 50 bucks. Um, we'll, we'll just call it, it was like three bucks or whatever. It's not that bad. But um, uh, it definitely felt like this was overstock. Like they couldn't get rid of this record. So of course I was going to get this record. And last but not least. Blood Cults. We Who Walked Behind the Rose. This record is by far the worst thing I have ever listened to. Worst thing I have ever listened to. Not just the worst album of my own, not just the worst songs I've heard, but it's just the worst thing I've ever heard. I don't I think these guys are from America. I'm not actually sure, but holy shit. These I I'm trying to to come up with the words to properly describe it. It's it's definitely uh, interesting. So basically, you have this stupid style of black metal because that's really what they're trying to go for with like these really lightly overdriven guitars and just this shitty vocals, these awful vocals. I honestly bought it because I thought it'd be hilarious to listen to. Like, like with song names like Redneck Black Metal, um, Cheap Guitars, uh, Illinois Thunder. Oh, yeah, we'll call it Illinois Thunder. Illinoisian Thunder. Yeah, Illinoisian Thunder. I just thought, two bucks. It'll be funny to listen to. It, 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 it's honestly the worst record ever like ever I cannot even imagine something worse than this fucking record I mean it really is grating like when someone uses that it really hurts my ears to listen to it it's that bad I cannot even believe that this fucking band this fucking band got a record label got a record label to sign them and go listen to their demo and go yes I want this. <sighs> I cannot even believe. I can't believe the balls of this, like, charging me $2 for 
for this record. That's two dollars too much. I should have been paid like five dollars. They should have paid me five dollars to take this record. That's how bad it is. But uh, anyway, thank you guys for watching. Um, if you listen to any of these records, how do you feel on them? It's okay to disagree with me. Um, you know, music is a subjective thing. Except if you like redneck, if you like that redneck black metal shit. I'm sorry, you're wrong. You don't. Your opinion is wrong. But anything, another thing here, it's okay to disagree with me, obviously. But please tell me in the comments below. Thank you guys for watching. Mortician, peace out.